You people. This Montana White with ATL Mix Show, Hip Hop, Money, Power, and Politics. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because I want to talk about you people. Eddie Murphy and Lauren London's new movie with the the Jewish kid who gets fat and skinny and fat and skinny. We've been watching him for years now. But anyway, let's just talk about this movie. Now, I can't tell you how it ends because I'm a grown man and I refuse to be put through this bullshit, this psychological bullshit over and over again. Where is the black man in Hollywood? Answer this question for me. All right, Eddie Murphy. I guess he's the he's the typical father type in this comedy that's, you know, pro-black and you know what I mean? He wears it on his clothes. He talks about it in his conversations with his kids. He can't believe the diversity in America. This used to coulda shoulda would have been reality that he's Acting like he's, you know, a part of or whatever the fuck, right? But then, you know, it's all the stereotypes, right? It's all the stereotypes of some fucking quirky racist reality that doesn't involve violence in America. But you have this hint that they know violence to people of color exists in this country and... You know how the, the the honorable said, the people of color, they're not really the black people. They are the Caucasians because they come in different colors. Blue eyes, green eyes, orange hair, whatever, right? Anyway, to make this movie even dumber, they have the lesbian sidekick to the awkward white guy who just picked up and started dating the black girl with the black power father right now if you want to put all the 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 dots on the eyes and cross all of the t's i guess this would look like a social experiment that's being used at our expense because it is called you people and we you hear the phrase you people you know who they're referring to right but come on dog like Racism is a joke. That's why it's funny. You feel me? We all understand that racism only exists because a certain class of people are in control of the governing body of the country, right? But when you take the law out of racism, shit, man. Black people don't even give a fuck. I mean, we are white. Think about it. We only speak English, right? The only thing that separates black people and white people, particularly, is rhythm. You know what I mean? We got the rhythm. We in sync with the planet. When the ball bounce, you can get it off the hop step. When the beat drop, you can drop it on the one. You know what I mean? It's white people who have no, 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 no rhythm, so to speak. Now, they can be taught how to move. But, right, honestly, since history has caught up with mankind... And they can't hide as many things as they used to. We actually see that the white man has no imagination. He has taken, copied, and and cut and pasted his history on top of everyone else's innovations, right? He has no innovations. He calls his history, which when we dig deeper, we find that it's just a stolen version of someone else's culture, right? But in America, because of the Hollywood propaganda machine, we are limited to this very narrow-minded space called race in America, right? And we find it so odd that we can make movies about 30-plus-year-old people dating interracially, like children or something, right? Now... There's no need for this movie because in reality, Eddie Murphy has mixed kids. He about 70. Lauren London is in her 30s and so is the white boy. So why is this even a chaperone situation about two adult love lives where you can make a quirky, smirky movie about it, right? Now, of course, they feeding off the trauma, the black trauma of being in America Raising yourself to a level where you can 
look the white man in the eye and claim your equalness or superiority, right? But just the title of the movie, You People, it leans it on, you know, it's flipping it from us because it's supposed to be the conversation in the black household about them instead of them talking about us. Now, I stopped watching the movie when she lied to Eddie Murphy about who she dating and then the white boy went hip hop shopping with his podcast lesbian partner and she explained it to him what black women might need or want. You know what I'm talking about? You see, subjects like this in our community at this point in the reality of the world kind of like brainwashes us to stand to stand in the same place to keep our to keep our level of existence in America and not to really expect more right because it's feeding into the all the racial stereotypes of their superiority while we are fighting for an equal reflection of self right uh now i don't doubt it you know it's all entertainment right but you gotta watch the entertainment that you're digesting because it can turn into your reality now the strong black man in this movie clearly is eddie murphy and he's standing on all 10 he's married he's successful and he's the father figure of their family but alas in comes the white man because of course there aren't any men any black men strong enough to handle his very opinionated daughter that he raised so because she's so opinionated and because this is hollywood i guess this will be called a love story and they'll live happily ever after you know what i mean in this world of entertainment and hip-hop in this juvenile world of non-adults right when will we learn because clearly a 30 some year old woman what she's portraying to be i assume she's not playing a teenager but in reality she's a mother and a grown woman still getting dating advice from her overly protective you know black nationalist successful father over a somewhat dim-witted slacker type white dude who doesn't want to live in reality whose mother wants him to date white women but they kind of find love in this oddball, you know, guess who's coming to dinner type 2023 version of bullshit. Well, thank you, Netflix. Thank you, Eddie Murphy. Thank you, Lauren London. Because this is what you've chosen to give us as entertainment. It's Montana White, ATL Mix Show, Hip Hop, Money, Power, and Politics. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and grow the fuck up, man. It ain't it ain't all weird and shit. We winning. I'm out.